In this video, we are going to be discussing generating leads for the real estate niche. And guys, this is something that everyone's talked about. It's something that everybody's thought of. We've all talked to our friend, our neighbor, whoever said, Hey, I generate leads. I, I I'm in local lead generation. I do this thing called rank and rent. And we all had that real estate agent that's met that said to us, Hey, can you get me leads? Can you get me leads? I'm already paying such and such a company thousands and thousands of dollars to get me leads. Can you get me leads? And so I have had this, per I personally had this question. I've explored this niche. I've, I've had this asked so many different times. So I want to discuss it on this particular video. So guys, when I'm talking about real estate leads, what I'm specifically referring to, because there's different types, I'm referring to generating leads for a real estate agent, somebody that's looking to get buyer leads, but more, more specifically and more importantly is seller leads. Everybody knows that real estate agents love seller leads. They get the listing and then whoever buys it, they make a nice, healthy chunk of change. And so I remember having this conversation with somebody early on when I first started generating these leads and I had the same question. I thought, man, if I could just figure out how to get leads for real estate, oh my goodness, I would be killing it because I know so-and-so is paying 2000 bucks a month to this company. I know so-and-so is paying a thousand bucks a month. And I know that company, they're, they're a bigger company. They're paying $10,000 a month for leads. If I could just crack into this niche, I, I could crush it. And I had these exact same thoughts. So guys, um, I'm going to first start by saying I talked to enough people. I asked enough questions. I used enough of my common sense and never went down the path of spending money to do this. So I have to start with that because I've told you guys from the beginning, if I have not personally done it, I'm not going to pretend to have done it. Um, but I'm going to tell you the reasons why I do not think this is a good niche for rank and rent. I got to say this because I say this every single time and I truly believe this, but any niche, any niche w th that you do this for, that you do uh, rank and rent for, that you build a website for, you rank it on Google and you get traffic to it, you're going to get leads. You're going to get some leads. The question is how many? Is it worth the amount of time, effort, energy, et cetera, that you're going to put in? Or is the upside there? Or could you have spent that same amount of time, <clears throat> excuse me, in another niche or another city or another niche and city and yielded a far better return and thus making it uh, a much better use of your time. So guys, um, number one reason why I do not love this niche is because it's competitive. It's very, very cutthroat. It's very, very, very competitive. And, and until recently, where we've had a little bit of a decline right now at the time of recording this, this is mid-2023, we're finally starting to see, to, to be able to have a conversation with a group of friends and, and nine out of 10 of them are not real estate agents. Um, but what we're going to see is we're going to get a little bit of a cleansing because um, I know just a year ago, it seemed like every person that I knew was doing real estate and every person that I knew was driving a Mercedes Benz with their logo on the back of it and they were just crushing it. And now we're starting to see that the good ones are going to stay there and all the other wash ups are going to move out of the, out of the industry. But ne needless to say, and, and, and regardless of how many people leave, how many people come back in, it's a cyclical thing, but it's a very competitive industry because the margins are big. You get a lot of money for a, a relatively little amount of work. Now, I'm not hating on real estate agents. Some of my best friends are real estate agents. I think the good ones truly do provide a great service. I use real estate agents. I don't try to go around corners and, and cut them out of the deal. But um, for the amount of work put into it, especially with a, a, a listing when you're selling a home versus how much money you get, it's a lot of money and you can make a lot of money and therefore it's going to attract a lot of competition. That's why you saw so many people jump in, in the last few years, okay? Um, the next reason besides the competition is this isn't really how people search. Okay. In, in my experience and talking to everybody else and talking to the way that my family, that we've talked, my friends is we don't go to Google and say, Hey, let me find me a good real estate agent. And then we're going to go find a house. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's opposite, right? We go, we look at the property, we go on to Zillow and we're scrolling around. We drive by a house. We're like, Oh, that's a really cool house. Oh, there's a, there's a for sale sign. We go and we find a house that we're looking to buy. And then we are like, oh, that's the agent. Okay, let me call that agent, whatever. Now, I know that's not everybody. I know some people move to a new city. They're like, hey, I got to find an agent and I want them to get me some, some listings, whatever. But the majority of people when they're looking at homes are looking at the home first and the agent second. And so it's not something where people are just rampantly searching, rampantly searching on Google saying, hey, let me find the best agent in town. Now that does happen. That does happen. But I would argue, and this goes into my third point, 
that when that happens, we're not going to Google. These people are not going to Google to do that. They're looking for referrals. They're finding out who's the best in town, who's got the billboard, who did so-and-sos, who's getting recommended on the Facebook group, who this, who that, who is the most well-known and top of mind. And that is the person that we're calling, not the person that's most highly ranked on Google. Okay. And so those are the three things for me that just completely rule this out. Um, is number one, it's very, very competitive. Okay. Number two is it's, it's not really something that's not really the way that it goes. You go and you find the house. Um, you don't find the agent. Okay. And guys, it's also very brand driven. It's, it's very, very brand driven, right? People are putting thousands. I have friends that are putting thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands. Some of these guys putting hundreds of thousands of dollars into marketing, some of them have radio shows. Some of them have purchased, I have a, a buddy that purchased a uh, Mercedes Sprinter van and wrapped it with his entire logo and basically goes in cold calls, but drives around while he cold calls. It's a genius idea, but how, much, how many hundreds of thousands of dollars that he put into that one little project just to give him that little edge um, and to give him that branding so he can be the most well-known person in town. Um, and guys, it, it again, it, it comes back to, yes, this could work. Yes, if you put enough effort, enough time, enough energy, you're going to get leads. You you put up a site, great, you're going to get leads. But um, for all of these reasons, you got to ask yourself: Is it worth getting? You know, let's say let's say it's five thousand dollars, but you got to put three times the work in. Why didn't you just go get a couple of concrete deals? Why didn't you just go get three, four concrete deals? And you're going to rank way quicker. You're going to have way less competition. And this isn't even to mention the legality aspect of it, which I don't know. And I know there's going to be some, I'm sure if you advertise, you got to use somebody's license number, or whatever, because there's going to be some legal barriers. Guys, it's in my opinion, this is too competitive of a niche. On top of that, if you are going to generate leads for real estate agents, I don't think Google's the platform. I think it's more of a Facebook play where you're getting into people's feeds. So guys, for this, for these few reasons, and many, many, many more. This is a niche you will never catch me doing. The only exception is probably if I personally became a real estate agent and I decided, hey, I'm gonna do my own branding, I'm gonna do my own this, I'm gonna do my own that. But even then, I'm gonna be looking at the competition and go, hey, what kind of effort, how much time, how much energy is it gonna take me to rank for real estate agent, Las Vegas, Nevada, real estate agent, St. George, Utah? And is it worth it? Or do I spend that same time, energy, effort somewhere else I've never done it. So for those of you, if you guys have done this niche, had great success doing it with the rank and rent model, please comment in the comment section. Um, but I'd love to hear your opinion on what you think. This is just my thoughts and I will not be entering into this niche.